morning. I have just been in collected water. It was so strange because it's freezing cold, as you can tell by my bright red nose and freezing cold fingers. But the water was warm. It was like a pond. And you know, when you're expecting something to be freezing cold and then it's warm, it was really strange. So I've got lukewarm water in my water bottles this morning. But last night was kind of nice. It was freezing cold as I was getting into bed and the wind started picking up and I was thinking, oh no, here comes a storm, but it seemed to pass. I think by about 11 o'clock everything had gone still, but it was very cold this morning when I woke up. And I have just come across this sign, but I've got no idea what it said, so I hope it's not too important. But <laughs> it's very strange, it's like a plaque on a tree with nothing written on it, so it gets me curious, things like that. But this morning should be okay. I have got an 11 mile, I think it is, kind of downish descent and flat. So that's going to be a nice change because I'm used to having to climb a mountain first thing on the morning. So hopefully it won't be too hard on the knees. But I don't know how far I'm going today. I'm just going to keep hiking till I get tired tonight as usual. But it looks like another lovely day on trail. charge time mile 2421 you come across this sign explaining that it's a fragile area for the next two miles so they do ask that you don't camp in this area I know there's been some contradiction over where this actually starts but I've just checked and it is 2421 exactly that this starts from going northbound I haven't done a lot of filming today because it's literally been the same but I've just come across this tree it's like a weeping fern tree that's kind of cool. days like this when sometimes I think being a section hiker is a sensible thing to do. 
this little area is absolutely gorgeous. I've just come across all these rocks here and there's a huge kind of mountain in the distance and it's so idyllic, so quiet. Oh, I could just roll out my tent and relax, but it's only about 3.30 and it feels like cheating. <laughs> so I'm going to slog up the hill, I've, well, the mountain. I've still got about maybe one and a half thousand feet to get to the top and that's kind of my challenge for the afternoon. So at least tomorrow I'm not having to go uphill straight away. I can just do a nice downhill to start with. But it is so peaceful here. I've hardly seen anyone today as well. It's been really strange. It's been very quiet on trail. Very, very hot. So I've been hiking uphill and I've been absolutely boiling. Hence the baseball cap has come out yet again. But I've just been taking it steady today. I want to get into Skyomish, I think it's called, on Friday. I was going to try and do it tomorrow, but I've just found out the post office is closed at 3.30 in the afternoon so there's no point me going extremely fast today to try and make it there tomorrow. So I'm just going to do a shorter day today, I'm just going to only do about 20 miles today, probably 20, 22 tomorrow and then just roll in for breakfast on Friday morning, get my package from the post office which should be waiting for me and then get back out the same day so that's my plan. I've got a little hitchhiker. <laughs> 